Hello, my name is Adam. I'm the owner of Agrarian Craft, a small leather business here in Burlingame, California. I wanted to introduce myself as I plan on rolling out a series of videos regarding leather work, leather techniques, and even tools. This will include hand tools and machinery such as sewing machines and skivers. I also want to do a small series of videos on shop organization. Currently, my shop is in dire need of some organization. I've been watching some YouTube videos and I'd love to get feedback from the community at large on things I can do to help improve the shop. I want to be able to establish first order importance of tools that I use every day and storage for tools I do not use on a regular basis. So this will include the use of a 3D printer, leather, and other common tools that we might have in our shops. So hopefully you will follow along and provide some feedback. I'd love to hear back from everybody at large and see what we can do. Thank you. So the very first uh, project I have for the shop is an organizational one. I actually have a handful of filament rolls, only about six or seven rolls. I don't produce that much in terms of 3D prints, but I am seeing an increased amount of orders as well as internal projects such as jigs and tools for myself that are being generated on a regular basis. One of the things that I don't like about my current situation is they are in bags they are just laying on whatever flat surfaces i have around the shop and i would like to change that i've seen a couple of videos that inspired me to start thinking about how i can change the way i store these make it so that they're easily visible easy to access as well as maintain some moisture control within the filament rolls themselves i picked up a small amount of color changing silica gel pellets that I will include in each of these new containers. They are basically plastic containers for cereal and they're the perfect size for filament rolls to go in them and there's enough room for a hydrometer to be included. So this way I can visually see without having to open the container how much moisture is trapped within the container and if the silica gel is actually drawing the moisture out of the air. What's nice about this is I'll have two ways of determining if I need to recharge the silica gel by this color going from orange to blue, as well as the hydrometer to give me an actual physical readout of what's going on within the container. Hopefully with the containers, I can actually eliminate the concerns about moisture being drawn from the air as the filaments are highly hydroscopic. So the next step is to start tackling these. I'll show you. So in this corner here, you can see I have all my rolls of filament in large Ziploc bags. This is where I'm currently storing them on the surface of this bandsaw blade table. Not the most ideal storage situation, but this just happened to be the first place I had to start stacking these filament rolls. And these bags have one big drawback. Sometimes the seal doesn't hold and it tends to pop open. Now this puts the rolls at risk of collecting moisture from the air. And if you get enough moisture in the filament, you have to dry it out or otherwise it will cause problems during printing. So this is what I want to tackle next. So before I put the rolls of filament into the new containers, I want to add the 3D printed desiccant jars, which have a threaded lid into each of the spools. This will allow the desiccant to draw moisture from the container and keep the filament relatively dry during storage. To fill these up, I pour all the silica beads into one large uh, Ziploc bag. This makes it easy to transfer the beads to the jars rather than trying to pour them in. Each time I've done that, I've gotten beads all over the place and they made a mess. So this is how I actually do it. When you fill it to the rim, you get approximately four ounces of silica gel beads per container. When I buy them online, I buy them in a one pound bag, which is 16 ounces. And that makes it easy to distribute into a number of these jars.
you saw, that was a very simple assembly process involving clear four liter cereal containers, some desiccant and a hydrometer. Several of the components were 3D printed. The desiccant jar with the screw top lid was 3D printed. And the case for the hydrometer was also 3D printed. I used double-sided tape to attach the hydrometer to the inside of the case, facing toward the front of the box so I can actually see it from the outside. I would like to thank some content creators who took the time to post videos about this idea and shared it with everybody else on YouTube. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. My first time doing a full length video and I'm also doing all the editing from my phone. Any comments and feedback that you guys would like to give, please feel free to give them to me in the comment section below. Hopefully I can get around to making some more videos in the near future in regards to shop organization, leather work, and leather tools.